My name is Rob Stocklosa. I'm an application engineer with TPM out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Today we're going to go over creating PLCs from scratch. First thing I'm going to do is open an existing project that I have here. We're going to take a look at our manufacturing parts library. Of course we have to create the manufacturing part to associate the symbol to. I'm going to select the appropriate libraries, classes, and of course manufacturer so I can find this item quickly. We'll apply a quick reference which we'll address in a minute uh, again. And we'll add this to our manufacturing part library. So here we'll put the detail information of the reference uh, and work our way down the dialog. Making sure right here under type that you select the correct type. If we don't select PLC then when we look for this item under our PLC library, we will not find it. We're going to now address our circuits and terminals, so I'm going to create four circuits. First one being our ground, second one's going to be power, and we'll just do a quick input and output. Okay, so we have our circuits defined, but we haven't addressed the terminals uh, within each circuit, so we're going to create one terminal per circuit and just give that an appropriate mark callout so that it satisfies the requirements of the manufacturing part we're creating. Of course we can add as much information or as little as needed. We'll accept this. There's our part in the library and now we can go ahead and apply that manufacturing part to our schematics. You have several ways to do this. PLC Manager uh, is my preferred method simply come in here. It gives me access to a lot more information um, other than just locating that uh, particular manufacturing part. We have our PLCs. We have our circuits defined. We'll select it and it's added it to our project. The reason I like this dialog is what you see here. It's, it's very rich in information. Uh, I can uh, access some options up at the top, control my inputs and outputs, functions, locations, all that good stuff right from this one dialog. So I do prefer this. Quick right click to insert. Oh, I got to get into my schematic first here. There we go. You're going to see an alternate way to insert a PLC here. So we're going to right click, insert our manufacturing part, select it. We can go over the options, but it will select that and again confirm our circuits are defined. Last thing we can do here is confirm in our tree. Our PLCs have been inserted in both manners, and of course, we can, with a quick right click, edit either one and make adjustments. Hope you found this helpful. Have a great day.